what is up guys um vintage and snap here uh, i just got back from like a 10 day trip to north carolina so i've got a decent amount of packages to open so i thought i'd do a um unboxing and a little bit of a thrift pickup video because i went thrifting today i found some pretty decent stuff so um yeah i'm gonna get it started with um this one right here so i actually won uh the vintage exchange um giveaway um, ran by Santos and uh, the rest of the Vintage Exchange ad admins. Um, and shout out to Cap Digger, uh, Jonas Kobe, I believe, and Dylan Glebe who uh, proxied this for for the giveaway. So yeah, um, I'm gonna open this up first. It's gonna be pretty crazy. I'm excited to have this because I've never had a olive blockhead before. Let's go. This is so sick. It's a Los Angeles Kings um, olive blockhead by American Needle, of course. Dead stock. Crazy dope. Wow, this thing is crisp as can be. Um, absolutely dead stock, brand new, perfect condition. Super dope side logo. Um, I'm stoked to have this because I've never had an olive blockhead and, or a Kings hat, which is going to be dope to rock. Wow, this, yeah, I really like these colors on here too. Um, let's see what else is in the box. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's some rolling papers, and I don't smoke so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these but these are pretty dope regardless cap digger again a sticker some more rolling paper <laughs> um, stickers these are crazy I love this logo and design kind of like the supreme box box logo a little bit and then um, these are crazy dope as well the vintage exchange stickers um, if you're not a part of this group, by the way, definitely join it. It's a great Facebook community for, oh, it's open to anyone. Uh, lots of things to buy and sell and kind of just talk with uh, all the people who can relate to what you collect. We've got some lighters. They say Cap Digger as well. Rare, vintage, and dead stock. Oh, that's sick. Again, I don't smoke, but I will find some use for these lighters. <laughs> crazy dope wow uh, yeah major shout out again to uh, vintage exchange as a whole and Jonas Kobe again for running this um, I'm really happy that I won it it's kind of funny because uh, I actually do win a lot of giveaways I don't know how I guess I'm extremely lucky but I, I need to slow down on entering them for a while let some other people win so Again, major thanks to Santos, uh, Gustavo, Dylan, Jonas. I can't think of the other admins, but Jason, uh, Kevin. I, I don't know. I'm probably forgetting someone, but huge thanks to everyone. This will not be for sale ever. Um, uh, actually, I'm psyched to rock it, but it's going to be hard to pop the tags. So, yeah. Thanks again. And um, this next package is from Albert Oliva I actually bought this on the vintage exchange page I got a really good deal on this so and I've never owned one of these so it's gonna be dope Seattle Supersonics shark tooth by uh, logo 7 so it's twill which is my favorite for shark tooth and splashes this is going to be dope to rock with my recently copped uh, Sonics jersey from MJ. Then and now goods. Ooh. Looks like there's a little bit of bleeding on it. Um, can't tell if it's just the lighting, but I'll figure that out. Um, regardless, a really dope hat. 
pretty good condition overall a little bit worn but for 27 bucks it's a good deal so yeah shout out to albert oliva i don't think he has an instagram but yeah sorry about this lighting um it's a beautiful day in washington right now but i was gonna film outside but uh I guess since I was gone, some hornets like took over my back porch. So there's like 20 bees out there. Uh, let's see. This one's from Josh R. in California. Oh, this is going to be a crazy dope hat as well. Um, I did a trade with this guy through Instagram. Jace underscore suave, I believe. Um, he's a really great guy. I'm really happy that he worked out this deal with me. So the first hat in here, oh, sick. I didn't even know he was going to include this. Uh, a Seattle Supersonics. It's almost kind of like a blockhead a little bit. Um, this is by G-Cap. So this is actually going to have a really good fit on it. Dead stock, G-Cap, Uh Wow. This is a really nice hat. Uh, thank you for that one. He threw that one in for free. Ah. Oh. Well, this is a little disappointing because I never saw this. I never knew that, but um, this is the hat that I was trading for. Carolina Tar Heels, Melton, Starter Script. By Starter, of course. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the snaps are pretty beat up. Looks like maybe they got chewed on by a dog or melted. Um, it's white tag, so it's gonna have a, hopefully going to have a pretty good fit on it. I guess I'll clean this up and I... I'll have to find someone to replace these snaps, I suppose. That's a little depressing, but I mean, it was a good trade, and I I want to say he didn't intentionally do that. So, regardless, uh, dope pat, not for sale again. Um, I'm hoping um, I'm going to be going to community college next year, but I'm hoping in two years I'll be able to transfer to UNC. So yeah, that's going to be a dope cap to rock in North Carolina and just around, regardless. Uh, Thank you for this, Josh. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get these snaps replaced. Thanks for the extra as well. I wasn't expecting that at all. And it looks like I have one more package. I guess the other one that I thought was coming is going to come tomorrow. So, I'll just have to throw that up on the gram. Not included in this video. I actually am not sure what this is. So, hopefully it's something dope. Oh, yeah, this is sick. Okay. I remember getting this, yeah. This one is a starter plane logo by Starter, of course. It's uh, got the plaid dome on it. It's a twill, kind of twill, okay, cotton polyester blend. Uh, I'm really stoked to have this because I've never seen one like this. And it's got, it's like a, kind of like a, almost a lumberjack colorway on it. Maybe not quite lumberjack, but almost and then uh green underbrim this thing's dead stock never been worn doesn't have tags but the classic tag should have a pretty good fit on it this is really clean i've never seen it i've never seen this hat before so i i knew i had to buy it good deal for 30 bucks uh this i also purchased in the vintage exchange page so clearly it's a page everyone needs to be a part of if you're not right now because there's good hats good deals good people uh, it's also a good marketplace to sell your own stuff. Just make sure you tag it. So yeah, uh, big thanks to what? big thanks to Trough. I honestly can't remember his name, but he was a good guy and he has pretty good deals. Oh, he must run his own company. Okay, that's dope. Troughco. Trough. Troughco. Damn, that's dope. Uh, shout out to you if you watch this video, bro. Appreciate it. Um, so now I'm going to get started on the uh, thrift pickups that I actually just picked up uh, not too long ago, like maybe an hour ago I just got home. So um, a couple of them are from a couple weeks ago when I was in town and I thrifted right before I left. But for the most part, they're from today. So yeah. Um, start. Oh, whoops. Okay. I'm going to start it off with these ones are like low-key heat in my opinion. Just they're personals. So this one's a Lion King. The Lion King. It's sort of like a dad hat, I guess. It says VIP on the back. I'm assuming it might have been from like a play or something. Yeah, Broadway musical in Disney. 
Um, but I think it's dope because who doesn't love who doesn't oh, who doesn't love the Lion King and Dad hats are kind of in right now. Black goes with everything, so why not? It was only two bucks with thirty percent off, so that's a pretty good deal. I'm willing to pay that for a hat that I'll wear once or twice. So yeah, and this other one is Mars. I think that's how you pronounce it. I looked it up. It's like a a scuba diving company from I want to say the late 80s, which would make sense because this is a it's almost like a nylon material, and it's I can't yeah it's kind of like a checkered print on it, which is dope. I love the colors, the teal and purple, um, like a trucker hat inside kind of, and then it's got the white the white leather strap on the back. Um, this was only a dollar 49 plus 30 percent off, so. Um, I'm going to probably just rock this at the beach or something this summer, you know. Um, I figured why not for $1.49. It looks dope. I'll wear it as a beater just around if I'm working on the house or at the beach or something. So, yeah, this is dope. Um, this one, Jay Buhner um, by... It's not really... It doesn't really have a company in it, actually. I think it must have been a giveaway hat because it says Boeing on the back, so... But yeah, Mariner's uh, collector, and so it's a nice hat to have, I guess. Probably like the other one, I'll just wear it to the beach or something. Um, this was only $0.99 cents plus 30% off, so $0.60. Cents. Might as well cop it. Um, these next two, this one I definitely need to do a reshape on. It's a pancake. It's a Marlboro um, Racing Team 92. Uh... It's pretty much a pancake, so I'm going to need to do a reshape on it, but Marlboro stuff sells pretty well for me, and it was only $0.99 cents plus 30% off, so 60 something cents. Definitely a obvious cop for me. So, yeah. Next is this Hartford Whalers cap. I actually, when I saw it from a distance, I thought it was going to be Michelin Ness because I've never seen this kind of style. Um, it's by Twins, though. Uh, it's honestly... It looks like it's really, it's really obviously has a bad shape to it, so I'll need to reshape it. But other than that, it looks like brand new. Snaps are perfectly intact. It's a green sweatband, but there's no wear. And this, this was also only 99 cents plus 30% off, so that was an obvious cop for me as well. Um, let's see. Oh wow, we got a few. I'll try to go through these fast. Um, this one's a blank that I'll be putting my logo on. It's an auto, but it has a pretty nice, pretty nice brim on it, uh, curve. I like the colorway. I'll probably put a, I want to say black logo on it. This will be a personal hat. Four bucks plus 30% off. Uh, not bad in my opinion for a blank because usually I pay five bucks a blank. So This one is University of Oklahoma Sooners. This was a 99 cent cop plus 30% uh, off. Uh, pretty much dead stock. I might need to do a reshape, but honestly this shape's pretty good. So I might sell it as is. Uh, this one is actually pretty dope, but I don't really have many people that cop uh, Cougar stuff, but it's pretty dope because it's like denim material basically. It kind of looks like acid wash denim in a way. And it's got the leather strap on the back, and it's got the kind of tan brim. It's a dope hat. Uh, $3.99, but it was 30% off, so what, like 2 something, 3 something. Pretty good deal. This one, um, I got... At this lap, at the last thr last thrift store I went to, they actually had three of them. It's a Swiss Swiss Army knife, which is actually what I use to do my unboxing. I figure this is actually a pretty dope hat. It says Victorinox on the back as well. Um, dead stock condition. It's not any special brand, but I thought it was kind of dope. I really like uh, just random brand hats that are kind of plain. They're good to rock with anything, and they're unique. So why not? One ninety nine plus thirty percent off. This I copped to the last place as well. Seattle Mariners, um, plain logo by Twins, wool. Uh, we're all pretty good condition. I It's got a little bit of thread coming out, but I can snip that off. Uh, I'll give this a wash and a reshape, and I might keep it. Not sure. Otherwise, I might sell it. That was $2.99 plus 30% off as well. So, And then next, I have this dope Marlboro piece. It's a fleece Marlboro racing team. Uh, red and yellow colorway, size large, adventure team. Um, if anyone wants this, let me know. And I got this Ralph Lauren Polo Sport. Oh, Polo Jeans. Okay.
polo jeans t-shirt. I don't really know anything about polo, honestly, but the hype's real right now, and it's it was cheap, so I might as well cop and see if someone wants it for love, the low, like, 10 or 15 bucks. Um, size XL, great condition. Yeah. And then this I found at the first thrift store I went to today. Atlanta Braves jersey by Majestic, I think. Yeah, by Majestic. It's got the uh, mesh, what I'm wearing today for the Mariners. Uh, great condition. It's a size large. Yeah, size large. This was 6 bucks, So I should be easy flip, I would imagine. Make 10 or 15 bucks off it. Um, this next piece isn't vintage, but it was a really dope find because I love this game and it had all the pieces. And I already have one, so I'm probably just going to sell this for like 35 on e on the bay. Um, Sellers of Catan. If you don't have this game, you need to get it ASAP. It's a great game. Uh, yeah, it's really fun to play with friends and everything. Should be able to make 20, 25 bucks off this, so that was a pretty easy cop as well. Six bucks, I think. Um, and this last find I found at the last thrift store as well. I'm really hyped about it because I wouldn't normally cop these, but it was in the box, original box, and it still had all the original manuals and the uh, packaging and everything. And I'm pretty sure it's new. It it doesn't have the the seal on it or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's new uh, because it doesn't look like it's been used. And I'm going to test try it after this video to make sure, but I had to cop it. Um, it is a PlayStation 1 in the box, original box and everything. Um, as you can see, it has all the manuals and stuff in there. So, I mean, it was pretty easy cop for me. It wasn't it wasn't too bad. I think it was 15 bucks after after I paid for after I had the 30% off and it looks like it comes with everything that it originally came with. And I mean, I'm a PlayStation guy. I might keep it. I might probably sell it. I'm not sure. If anyone wants this, let me know as well. Uh, we'll make a deal on it. Probably like, just DM me. We'll make a deal on it. And I actually copped this game as well. Uh, NBA Live 98. It was the only PlayStation game they had. And I wanted to get one to test it and make sure that it works. So, um, yeah. This is kind of dope because it's still in the packaging from Fred Myers. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so that kind of concludes my pickups. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Sorry for the bad lighting and no music in the background. Uh, thanks for everyone that that uh, I copped hats from and gave me good deals. And a big shout out again to Cap Digger and Vintage Exchange. For the dopest giveaway I've probably ever won. I don't smoke, but I'll make a use for these. Right on. Uh, yeah, I'll slap these stickers somewhere dope. I'll slap these somewhere dope. I'm going to love the hat. I'll rock it. Um, so, yeah, big thanks again, guys. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll slow down on winning the giveaways. Um, so, uh, yeah, as always, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, likes, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought. And, yeah, keep your eye out for all this stuff I showed you for sale. Peace.